This video will show you how to use Dean's Cubes to subtract a three digit number from another. The subtraction I'm going to solve is 263 subtract 119. As I'm using Dean's blocks I must put the correct cubes on the correct numbers. So in the ones column I have got 3 and 9. This means I must put 3 cubes on top of the 3 and 9 cubes on top of the 9. In the tens column, I have got 6 and 1. This represents 60 and 10, so I must use the rows of 10 cubes to show these numbers. This means putting 6 on top of the 60 to show there are 60, and 1 on top of the 10 to show there is 10. Finally, in the hundreds column, I have got 200 and 100. This means I must use the blocks of 100 cubes, so I'm going to put 2 on top of the 200 and 1 on top of the 100. First I must solve the subtraction in the 1's column. In the 1's column I have got 3 subtract 9. I cannot do this as 3 is a smaller number than 9. What I must do is exchange from the next column the 10's. There are 6 10's in this number which I know because there are 6 rows of cubes. I must take one of these tens and use it for my ones column. This means exchanging that row of ten cubes for ten single cubes and putting them in my ones column. Because I've transferred across the columns, this means I've now got 50 in the tens and 13 in the ones here. Now that I've got the correct numbers written down, I can exchange this block of ten for 10 single cubes. The subtraction in the ones column is now 13 subtract 9. So to solve this I'm going to take 1, 1 from each of these sections. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. I have now got 4 1's left over, so 13 subtract 9 must equal 4. In the 10's column, I have now got 50 subtract 10. If I take away the 110 from here, I must also take away 110 from here. If I move these down to my answer, this shows me that 50 subtract 10 is 40, which I represent using a 4. Finally, in the hundreds column, I have got 200 subtract 100. If I take away one block of 100 from each of these sections, that leaves me with 100, which I move down to the answer and represent that 100 with a 1. This means the answer to my subtraction is 144. So 263 subtract 119 equals 144.